Here's a look at the latest headlines from the Daily Star. The Oneonta Middle and High Schools are switching to remote learning only for the next two days. Superintendent Thomas Brittles says that there is a high probability that a high school faculty member is positive for COVID-19. Officials are awaiting test results. The elementary schools are not affected. Schools plan to return to their hybrid schedule on Monday. Separately, the Otsego County Health Department is reporting a spike in the virus, with five new cases yesterday and 10 new COVID cases over the past five days. Half of the cases have been traced to a wedding. State Senate candidates Republican Peter Oberacker and Democrat Jim Barber faced off in an online debate over a stock transfer tax proposal. Barber says taxing stock transactions would raise $13 billion and most of it would be paid by out-of-state traders. Oberacker criticized the idea, saying it would hurt people with 401k retirement plans and keep middle-class families from investing. Oberacker is a business owner, member of the Otsego County Board of Representatives, and a volunteer firefighter. Bobber is a Schoharie Valley farmer, former school board member, and former Farm Bureau board member. Otsego County District Attorney John Mule says he's concerned that New York's bail reform laws are emboldening defendants to flout the criminal justice system. The DA says Joseph Mitchell and Eddie Holton failed to appear in county court on Monday. Both were indicted last summer on drug charges. Mule says both have extensive criminal histories. Prior to bail reform, a judge would typically issue a bench warrant for someone who failed to appear in court and set bail if taken into custody. But now Mule says judges are limited in their ability to set bail. Checking your weather forecast for today, expect morning fog followed by a mix of sun and clouds, the daytime high in the upper 60s. Then tonight, partly cloudy, overnight low dipping down to the mid 50s. Then tomorrow, a mostly sunny day in store, unseasonably warm, the daytime high in the low 70s. And there you have it, the latest headlines from the Daily Star.